um, terrible with intros. Uh, I had like, you know, uh, anyways, I, am I freezing up? Am no. I freezing up? Are we using 5G network? Because I wasn't sure, because there's some interference. I had to put some tin foil under my shaitel. You know, with the conspiracy theories going on right now, you never know. You can never be too safe, right? So, yeah, I think I'm good now. Anyways, um, how's everybody doing? That's great. Ooh. Same here. Yeah, we're doing a okay with the kids. Super creative ideas going on. We're baking. It's just splendid. We love it. <laughs> Guys, you got to get me out of here. I'm serious. It's terrible. It's overwhelming. The, the dishes are rotting. The kids are yelling their heads off. I'm about to call family services on myself. <laughs> and I said yes to this from prop thing because, you know, <laughs> priorities, right? Right? Right. Yeah. <sighs> Breathe in. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I I'm a little bit dramatic. I'm aware. Uh, my husband's Ashkenazi. He doesn't get the whole drama thing. You know, he's always like calm. I don't get it. Like, how are you so calm all the time? Like, I don't know. It's either like... I have no idea how they do it, you know? And I don't know if this is like an Ashkenazi thing or what, but like Ashkenazi won't talk to you for like 20 years because they don't agree with who you voted for or your diet. Like, it's just, you know. And this is all, my husband also does this thing where he like keeps things forever and doesn't throw anything out ever. Like we have a bag of old cell phone electric wires like rotting in our house. We never ever open this bag. And every time we open, uh, every time we move houses, we're like carrying this bag like to the next house, never open, like come on, like throw it out, you know? My mom is Israeli. She comes to my house to help us and like sh everything goes in the garbage. You know, my husband can't watch. It's not good for his heart. Um, she'll be like sweeping stuff and like Legos will go in the dustpan. She's like, yeah, la garbage, garbage. They don't need it. It's, it's too much, you know? It's uh, too much toys. They have enough toys. My husband will like pick up stuff from the dustpan. Like, hey, we need these. That's part of our 1500 piece puzzle. You know, she's like, yeah, la, you don't need. Come on, big deal. You have a thousand more one piece missing wow big deal you know so uh they throw everything out and like we have to do soup we have like super fast decisions going on when she's there she's like do you need this maze throw out maze no this maze how long you have this we're like ah! yeah so everything goes in the garbage except for one thing i don't know if you can relate to this but uh pajamas any like piece of clothing that is like not good enough to go, go outside with it anymore automatically has like a change of status to pajama so my mom will be like, why? Why throw out? It's still good. Keep full pajama. Lamas, there's a double pajama, you know? I have like more pajamas than clothes. Like three full drawers of pajamas. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like growing up, uh, I don't know, we bought like cheap stuff. Everything we bought was cheap. Like our furniture, for example, like uh, it's cheap, but looks good. Like if we, if we sat on certain places of the couch, it would like fall apart and break. Um, and it's, it's like meant for show, you know? It was all meant for show. We weren't allowed to sit on anything. Uh, my in-laws, they buy things and they research it. You know, like before, before they make the purchase, there's like a whole research. They check consumer reports. They check the company's history. It's a whole thing, you know? They come back a week later. My parents, you know, they go in. It looks good. It's cheap. Buy it. Suffer later. You know, like our shoes, for example, we had crafty shoes. We never knew like real leather existed. So we have like messed up feet because of that till today. Yeah. Um, yeah, so immigrant life, you know what I mean? Like we, we, our school lunches were extremely unhealthy. Like we had like Coke, fruit roll up, Dunkaroos. The healthiest part of our lunch was our pita. And obviously it had like chocolate spread in it. My mom's like, it's good. There's a sandwich, the sandwich. It's, it's bari, it's good for you, you know? And uh and I never knew like what whole wheat bread was like I went to my friend's house and I was like why is your bread brown like why do you have brown bread in your house what is that you know we were just like is that cocoa bread <laughs> you know? um, and I'll end with this my mom struggled with English here so like she like had to memorize certain lines so every time we went to different stores she had to memorize like for example at the gas station she knew when the gas attendant would come to her window she rolled it down and she would say Ten dollar gas, please. That was her line. She memorized it every time. So one time she went and she's waiting in line and a really nice person told her, oh, you can go before me. You know, it's okay. Like you, you could take my turn. So instead of thanking that person, she's like, ten dollar gas, please. You know, <laughs> what, what is going on? No clue what happened. 